Welcome to World Med School. My name is Mario Raviglione and I am the director of the Global Tuberculosis Program at the World Health Organization in Geneva. In this uh, micro lecture, I'm going to talk about the global burden posed by tuberculosis, about the progress towards the 2015 international targets, the challenges we need to face in the era after 2015, and of the new comprehensive end TB strategy. I will start with the global TB burden, and I will use the Global Tuberculosis Report 2014, we published at the end of last year, 2014, which con considers data for 2013, the latest available. The global burden of TB in 2013 is, as you see, 9 million new cases of TB, including 3.3 million in women, over half a million in children, 1.5 million lost their life due to tuberculosis, and this corresponds to 4,000 patients, people, every day dying of TB. Over 1 million of the 9 million cases were among people living with HIV, which means 13% of the total cases, with 360,000 people dying because of tuberculosis being HIV positive. And finally, multidrug resistant tuberculosis is present in uh, uh, in 2013 in at least uh, 480,000 people with an estimated number of deaths that is 210,000. The map shows the um, uh, rates per capita of tuberculosis, um, the incidence rates in 2013 and you see that the darker colors, the darker green colors, mean over 500 for instance cases per 100,000 in southern Africa, like South Africa and Namibia. Um, uh, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Lesotho, Swaziland. But you see also that the, the other parts of Africa, as well as large parts of Asia, Latin America and the former Soviet Union, also have very high rates per capita of tuberculosis. Notice that no single country has eliminated TB, which is present still, for instance, in the uh, European continent with perhaps between 10 and 20 cases per 100,000 in the UK or in Spain. This particular pie shows the distribution of the cases. Uh, Southeast Asia has 38% of the cases of the world uh, and Western Pacific 18%, which makes uh, basically Asia the continent with the highest number of cases of TB. Africa is responsible for about 29% of the cases. The rest is in the Eastern Mediterranean region, Europe and the Americas, as you see. This shows the estimated HIV prevalence cases in TB. And so what you find there that is the African continent that has the highest percentages of people with tuberculosis that are HIV positive, more than 50% in Southern Africa. This one shows the percentage of new TB cases with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, the forms of TB that are most difficult to uh, care for because you have a high rate of failure and of death. And what you see there is that the former Soviet Union in many countries now has more than 18% of the cases that are multidrug resistant. And in some parts of the former Soviet Union, in Russia and in Belarus, you may achieve levels of one third of the cases of TB being multidrug resistant from the start. And this shows the total number of cases before it was the percentage, now is the absolute numbers. And what you see there is rather obvious. You have in China and in India more than 50,000 cases per year, to be precise, around 60,000 each. And you see then that in Russia you have something around 40,000 cases. And you see, therefore, that this part of the world is the one that has been mostly uh, uh, or mainly compromised by multidrug resistant TB. We move now to the progress towards the 2015 international targets. This shows the target as was written in the Millennium Development Goals. Target 6C have halted by 2015 and begun to reverse the incidence of malaria and other major diseases. And the other indicator, the only other one, is in fact tuberculosis. And what you see there is that both incidence on the left and deaths on the right have been coming down now for quite a few years, probably a decade, meaning that the peak was achieved about 2003-2004, after which there has been a descent, very slow one. Nevertheless, with this descent and with this type of success, then 37 million lives have been saved between 2000 and 2013, and more than 60 million people were cured since 1995. 
This slide shows the uh, um, summary of the global progress on impact. What you see there is that the reduction in TB mortality rate was 45% since 1990, so it's almost half. 37 million lives have been saved, and I said that already, and 86% is now the QR rate among TB patients around the world. However, despite all the successes, the incidence of tuberculosis is falling still far too slowly at 1.5% per year only, which means that it will take decades before we can think about elimination. We now move to the challenges to be faced in the next era between 2016 and 2035. And the challenges are essentially five. Reaching the missed cases. There are three million cases that we estimate exist. I spoke about nine million, but we get notifications of only six million cases. So there are three millions that are not in the system. We have to address MDR-TB as a crisis. We have to accelerate the response to TB associated with HIV AIDS. We have to increase financing to close the resource gaps and we have to intensify research. This shows the issue of the missed cases. You see on the left that there are 9 million estimated cases now estimated and only 6 million notified. And you see on the right which are the 10 countries that account for three quarters of the estimated missed cases. The majority are obviously in India. The reason for the uh, missing diagnosis or missing reporting are essentially two. Either patients do not access facilities and they are missed and they die, or they access facilities or they access private sector that doesn't notify the cases. Another important challenge is that of multidrug resistant TB. I already showed the, the, the map. And what needs to be done is to look now at the highest percentage of cases, which is in the former Soviet Union, and to the fact that five countries, India, China, Russia, Pakistan, and Ukraine, have 60% of all MDR-TB cases in the world. That's where the battle has to be won. There are five priority actions to address the global MDR-TB crisis. Number one is to prevent the development of it by using the best possible standards of care for normal tuberculosis. Number two is to expand laboratory capacity and rapid testing. Number three is to provide immediate access to effective treatment, which is not the standard one, but is second-line treatment. Number four is to prevent transmission through infection control, especially in health facilities. And number five is to have money to do this and human resources that are capable of doing this. TBHIV is mainly an issue in the African continent, where 80% nearly of all TBHIV cases are actually uh, present. And the issue is on what to do with these particular cases. To address TB HIV, WHO has issued a policy on collaborative TB HIV activities that include what programs that deal with tuberculosis have to do, what programs that deal with HIV care have to do, and what needs to be done between the two of them together. This policy is available in our website, of course. Another challenge I wanted to just quickly discuss is that of the political commitment and the needed financing. And what you see on the left is the fact that we require about $8 billion to face tuberculosis in the world uh, every year, of which about $6 billion are available, largely from domestic resources, because tuberculosis is a disease of the middle-income countries that are sufficiently rich to put money into TB control, but still we have a gap of $2 billion that has to be really filled in order to implement all initiatives and all capacity. And on the right, you have the research gap. We estimate $2 billion are required to have proper research to find new tools to fight the disease, of which about $677 million are available, leaving a gap of more than $1.3 billion. And to conclude this talk, I have a few slides on the new comprehensive NTB strategy. It all began with the 67 World Health Assembly that in May 2014 passed a resolution of, uh, concerning the adoption of the uh, new strategy and the new uh, ambitious targets against tuberculosis. We call it the NTB strategy 2016-2035. This is a fact sheet that explains all the various details of the strategy, the various targets, the principles underlying the strategy and the pillars. It's available in our website and you can request a copy to me if you like. These are the vision, goal, targets and milestones in more details. The vision is a world free of TB. The goal is to end the epidemic 
And when we speak epidemic, we mean really something that is more than 10 cases per 100,000 people, which is roughly uh, uh, the, the limit for low incidence countries. The indicators are shown at the bottom there, and you see that we are talking about major reduction of deaths. For instance, by 2035, 95% reduction of deaths, 90% reduction of incidence, and starting in 2020, the various milestones every five years, we don't want to have catastrophic costs imposed upon people and families that are facing the problem of tuberculosis. That, that means, in essence, availability of universal health coverage and social protection mechanisms. The slide shows the three pillars of the uh, new strategy and the four principles. Very briefly, the four principles are government stewardship and accountability with monitoring and evaluation, strong coalition with civil society and communities, protection and promotion of human rights, ethics and equity, and adaptation of the strategy and targets at country level with a global collaborative spirit. The three essential pillars include, on the left, the integrated patient centre care and prevention, which is the most modern way of facing tuberculosis with existing technology. The centre speaks about bold policies and supportive health systems. These are crucial. And the third one speaks about research, intensified research and innovation. I don't have time to go into details about the strategy, but I want to remind you that they, the, the, the details are available if you want to uh, contact us. Conclusions. The burden of tuberculosis remains enormous with 9 million new cases and 1.5 million deaths per year. Uh, the 2015 Millennium Development Goal target for tuberculosis, making incidence decline, has been reached. However, other international targets have not. Challenges remain and include the number of missed cases. I said 3 million are missing from the systems. We don't know where they are. The issue of multidrug resistant tuberculosis the issue of tuberculosis and AIDS and HIV association, the funding gaps and the investments for research that are insufficient. To address this, we have developed a new end TB strategy that was approved by the World Health Assembly in 2014 and that now needs to be adopted and adapted in all countries. And finally, this strategy, as I just demonstrated to you, uh, consists of three pillars addressing TB specific interventions, addressing the health system and social issues and uh, intensifying research. This is all what is necessary in order to end TB as an epidemic by 2035. And thank you very much for listening.